say what's happening you already know who this is this is your dude gka the prodigal son from that fine organization that we call group our group social fellowship incorporated on what's happening tv and i got this young beautiful young lady right here she gonna go ahead and introduce herself to the world go ahead hello world so <laughs> my name is rokisha martin i am the owner founder operator of silky soul beauty supply in houston texas i also have a beauty brand which is called silky soul as well mm -hmm. where i sell organic and health conscious hair care products and skincare products okay okay now what is one of the challenges mm -hmm. that you have to face mm -hmm. operating a beauty supply store I mean, I guess the main challenge is just being a woman of color okay. in the business. Um, it is really hard for us to gain visibility in the business, to gain respect in the business. So that has been the main challenge, just trying to break into the business and get fair pricing with supplies. That's another challenge. I guess that's too. Okay. So how is the community supporting you doing this? challenging time trying to operate this brand for yourself actually they've supported me a lot um the tiktok video which i know you saw well, yeah TikTok i sure did video, i sure um, did it went viral and that was really unexpected but i think that it resonated with so many people okay um because it was relatable and i had no clue it was that relatable with mm -hmm. people and since then the community really has rallied around me and um i've been having an influx of customers coming in mainly from tiktok and people that are in the area that saw me that live here that didn't know I was back here that have come to support me. Some people come in and they don't really want anything. They just buy whatever. They're like, I'm, I'm going to buy something. Support, support, support. Yes. support. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Before you receive this type of support from our community mm -hmm. and from the, from the community in the state of, I mean, not the state of Houston, we, the yeah, city the of city. Houston, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. So how did you support yourself? having this idea understanding the challenges that you was going to encounter well i didn't know the challenges honestly i had no clue about oh, the challenges until what? i actually got into the business okay um like a lot of people you feel like well I, first of all let me tell you how i purchased the business it was already an established business okay so this biz this actual beauty supply was here in 2018 okay and uh the owner left last year probably from the same challenges that i had and didn't have that visibility and the community rattling uh, rallying around him and he was a black man as well okay so um i decided to purchase the business as is okay. so a lot of the things were already here so i thought i had an edge up on the competition like okay i'm coming in with a lot of products already here i won't need a lot that wasn't true so <laughs> so, so you had my mind blown when you had stated the fact that the business was already operated but you came and purchased the business i did already can you existed. can you please tell us uh about the process of purchasing a business that was already established so it came with a lot of um negotiating okay had to negotiate the price of the business for something that was fair to me um i had to come in and do inventory of everything that was already here make sure that things were not expired i didn't want to pay for things that were not okay. expired so um that was another thing just doing inventory and negotiating the price that was good for me and good for the the seller oh mm -hmm. okay okay mm -hmm. so w would you do that whole process again or would you start from scratch yeah no I would actually buy, I would only buy an existing business okay. because um, I think it, it saved a lot of money. Okay. I didn't have to do a whole build out. Oh. So when you first come into the business, it's an empty room. Okay. And when that, you know, the guy that owned it before me came in, he had to do a full build out. Nothing was here. He had mm. to paint, he had to put everything on the walls. He had to, I mean, and, and get all of these products as well, the carpet. So, um, I would rather buy an existing business that already has a build out. That made it easier for me. 